What would Florida be without sea turtles? For many years, it seemed like we might find out as populations around the world teetered on the brink of extinction. For many people, though, that was an unacceptable fate. Since the 1980s, the Conservancy has worked in concert with numerous other impassioned and dedicated groups across the globe. Together, we've aspired to better understand the lives of these incredible creatures, all with the common goal of protecting them for generations to come. Here on Kiwaden Island, over the course of nearly 40 years and with the help of over 130 devoted interns, we've enabled more than 285,000 hatchlings to reach the sea. Every summer we monitor these beaches, both day and night, dodging rainstorms and sunburns as we measure, cage, and record one nest after another. The information collected throughout the season and over the years gives us valuable insight into the health of the population. We've been soaking wet, mosquito-bitten, drenched in sweat, and dog-tired but we pushed through the discomfort because we refused to believe in a future without these iconic animals in it. many species are beginning to show signs of recovery, all seven are still considered either threatened or endangered. It's been our actions that have brought them to this point in history, and it's ours, and ours alone, that can bring them back. To learn more about what you can do to help these animals, visit our website, and consider supporting organizations like the Conservancy of Southwest Florida, so no one ever has to wonder what the world was once like when sea turtles were in it.